conveniently, we now have Carrie on the phone so we can answer a question. Cool. That's awesome. So, Carrie, can you hear me? I can. Hi, doctors. Hi, Hi Carrie. Hi, hey, Carrie. Good to have you on the show. So you're, in a way, you're on both shows at once right now. So this yeah, is perfect. Yeah. Radio and TV. At the same time. So what you, you, we mentioned in that tape piece, and, and the question when is, is this? girls that they're, they were a little bit anemic, they said, or their iron levels were a little low? They're lower than last time. They're not anemic yet. Um, okay. They're 12.0 and 11.9. So okay. They're but it had dropped normal. a bit. But you said it had dropped from the other, the first time they checked. Right. Okay. You know, at, at two year old, this is this is actually pretty common. I wouldn't. There's no reason to panic. It's actually I see this a lot, and and usually because toddlers, you know, they've usually stopped breastfeeding. Uh, they're kind of picky eaters, so they're not getting a lot of iron rich foods yet, and uh, and that rapid growth that they're getting tends to kind of. Uh, use up a lot of their iron stores, but it's important to follow it because if left untreated, if it does keep getting worse and worse and worse, they will become anemic and that can lead to develop, developmental problems uh, and, and we don't want that to happen at all. And just to clarify for everyone, hemoglobin is in red blood cells. Red blood cells, that's kind of what, carry, that, yeah, that, what carries the oxygen in your red blood cells to all your tissues. The mm -hmm. Iron is what hemoglobin is made out of. For kids, you need about 10 milligrams a day, seven to 10 milligrams a day for a one to 10 year old. And it's not that hard to do. Uh, red meats are, are the biggest source of iron, even chicken, eggs, green leafy vegetables, beans are higher in iron, even raisins are higher in iron. So, so it's, it's, it, you just get a good couple of iron sources each day and you should be good. Now you, Carrie, you had asked about calcium or dairy. Can that interfere with iron absorption? Yeah. And actually it can. So, uh, so you want to make sure you maybe uh, during dinner time serve water uh, with your iron-rich foods, but then have your dairy in snack time. You want to separate those two uh, times uh, by about two hours. Uh, what can you do to increase your iron absorption? Take it with vitamin C. Whether, uh, you know, if you're squirting lemon juice on your green leafy vegetables or cutting up uh, dicing tomatoes or red peppers in your eggs or even just ketchup on a burger can help boost that iron. If you're concerned about being low in iron, luckily there are blood tests that mm -hmm. we can do to check what your iron stores are, what your iron binding capacity mm -hmm. is. And that's and a huge thing for pregnant women as well because oh, yeah. of the whole calcium and iron, that's why they actually have to take a calcium supplement because the mm -hmm. iron, they compete with each other. Yeah, sure, and parents at home can check, you know, if you look at your child's fingernails, uh, if, they're, if they're nice and pink, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. If you look inside the, uh, the reds of the eye there, inside your eyelid, if it looks pretty pale, you might be low on iron. And in the end, if you're feeding your children a primarily vegetarian diet, you do want to pay attention Particularly as a woman. Yes, um, iron content. How are you getting iron. your iron? Yeah, because most of the iron is, you know, through red meat or, or meat products. You can get it the other ways, but you have to be very active right. in trying to figure that out. So, Carrie, we wish you the best of luck and want to thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for listening to the show, Carrie. <laughs> and John, it's been a pleasure. It's been great. I've, I've, I've learned a lot. I have a million more questions. I'll keep sending you questions from the show. Well, and for, for those people, well, who haven't discovered the website yet, your website is amazing. You can get the answer to any question. And the cool thing is, is that whenever I get information from, from your site and from the show, everybody's a broadcaster now on Facebook. So it's a, it's a, it's a, great, way, it's a great way to hand Except that stuff Travis, up. Except Travis, he, he stays no, clear no of that. No, no Facebook. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's a, it, Travis, Travis is the reason my brother-in-law, Vinny, and I do 300 push-ups a day. Because uh, we saw him yeah. doing push-ups. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 300 is a good yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah.